Hello YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Today I'm going to be doing a brief little tutorial on how to set everything up on DOSBox. As you can see on this little notepad here I have open up, uh, you have to exactly put this down to a science when it comes to using DOSBox, which is this right here. Anywho, alright, so I already typed out the stuff for you. First things first is you're going to need to type this right here. I'll make this big enough for you to see. So that way you got a genius idea on how to do it. All right. So as you can tell, it's going to be using. I got to try to find the my little eh, finkel matter. Gotta find the um, sources Pacific area. Anyway, you gotta type it exactly like that. I'm trying to get the uh, drag bar back. <laughs> All right, this will work instead. Yeah, th this will work better. All right. So, step one, you gotta type it exactly as placed. So when you're in the DOS prompt, which is this little beauty right here, you're gonna have to type it out. Now to do this, of course, uh, I would go on DOSBox.com, obviously, to pro you would have to do this beforehand, but this is how you would type and get through some of the commands a little bit easier. Alright, so, you're in DOSBox right now, you need to click on that, obviously get that up. Alright, so, that's on Z, Z Drive, which is default, so what you're going to need to do is type MOUNT, in all caps, space, C, space, C, and it has to be typed out exactly like you have it in the folder on C drive or whatever drive you're setting it up as, because if you do not set it up exactly the same way it's typed out in the folder, it's not going to work, and you're going to run across that problem and not executing it properly. Now, as you guys can see right here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, I'm try to make this a little bit. Uh, yeah, perfect. Perfect. I love it. It's excellent. It's awesome. Alright, so I'm not going to press enter yet, so that way you guys can sort of absorb it a little bit. Give it a little time to see it. Alright, now I'm going to press enter. Now it's going to say C drive C is mounted as local directory, which is what your what your goal was here. And this is also we're going to place all of your games at, so that way you can play them just like that. I mean, there's other measures and how to emulate it, so that way you don't have to type all this crap out and it automatically boots up. But that's something you're going to have to uh, look up yourself. Now, next step here is this is how we're going to set it up to C drive. Now this is so simple, you're going to bop yourself in the head and go dope. Alright, so we're going to type in that. Oh look, magically it turns into C drive now. So, no problems there. Now, if you want to see what's on the C drive, you can either keep this in a box mode like I got it, or obviously if you have it in full screen, you want to make it all retro-like, then obviously you're going to type in this DIR, which represents directory. Now it's going to show you everything on your directory. I got old school Castlevania, I got that, that, Rise of the Triad, Strife, blood now to access blood this is how you're going to do that and go out go about and do that all right so I'm going to type in CD space blood now you don't have to be I put bluff text bluff didn't even look at it at first there we go now it's going to have blood now to access the game if you are insecure about it the name of the folder that you have to access or what you have to repeat on this command line is we'll do this obviously you can't see it but it has to be an exe inside the folder that the blood is located at so now we're inside of the blood folder you're gonna retype blood again and that's gonna load up it's gonna say copyright blah 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 monolith they're not making no more money off this so it's abandonware now so alright uh, we're gonna Take the slider bar, make it a little bit bigger. Whoa, why are you so tiny? OK. 
Okay, we're going to make it this window. Alright. That's not good. It appears I blew up the... Hmm. Pacific area. We're going to have to... This is not happening right now, guys. This is not happening. Alright, so... I'm going to make it so it's big enough so that way you guys can see the project working. Alright. I'm going to press A key to enter. This is going to drag me into the game. There you go, guys. That's technically how you get into the game. Now, plays normal, plays wonderful. It's classic goodness. Now, if you want to get out of the game, you just type in quit, obviously, and you go back out to DOS prompt. Now, I'm going to show you some blood footage after, obviously. Now you want to type in CD space. This is if you want to get back and go and do your thing out in C drive. So if you want to access something else, type in CD space rot. And then type in just like that. You can navigate on DOS prompt quite easily. <laughs> Yeah, sound isn't working right now, but oh, all oh, that because I have my. That's probably why it's not working. Cause I have my sound turned off. Duh. So that way it would help me focus better. All right. So yeah, you guys get the point though. That's how you navigate around DOS prompt. Now, if you guys need any help whatsoever, like PM wise or whatever, and need like something in text format, I'll obviously just guide you towards DOSBox.com or whatever their website is now, and I'll help you guys out a little bit better. But I hope this tutorial helped you at least a little bit. I mean, I didn't obviously provide the information to obviously set it up so that way it does this but that's something you're gonna have to go on dosbox.com to look up yourself because it, obviously if I just tell you you're not gonna learn anything yourself the hard way that's how I learned my folks kinda navig my dad kinda showed me off a little bit how to start with dosbox and it was clinched in my school ever since it's also how I was able to access a lot of old games my, me and my brother used to play back in the day used to hop on his 386 computer onward and did stuff like that up to a point then Windows 95 came out and then most of this type of stuff was of the past it all did it by itself and all the happy horse crap but other than that um that's basically it for now guys so if you guys need any help with DOS prompt or any more tutorials on DOS prompt I'll try to help you out uh, if I'm not doing anything uh, other than that um take it easy and hope you guys enjoy this uh, tutorial and please five star me if you enjoyed this and learned something from this and also subscribe I'll try to do some more tutorials and other stuff in the future and also I have very witty com content and the sauce is just running wild oh take it easy guys